Good morning, and yes, we still are in God's house. Wherever his word and promises are, that's God's house. So maybe this whole ordeal and crisis will teach us uh, to strengthen our home devotional lives a little bit more. Here, we do plan, I, I know that we sent out these um, bulletins that were printed quite a bit earlier in the week, and besides getting the wrong part of the church here, I don't know how I made it after Epiphany, this is the fourth Sunday in the season of Lent, uh, and I, I was actually glad to have used the text for the day instead of trying to search for one that seemed to apply more to the, the present day crisis. This, I can't think of a text that would have more applied to the present day crisis than the ones we had already appointed for us <laughs> centuries ago. Uh, so, so I'm thankful for that. Our plan still at the time being, for the time being is to stream our services, both the Wednesday evening services the next two Wednesdays and our Sunday uh, at 7 p.m. and the Sunday, Sunday morning services at 10 those are also archived on our website at starlutheran.org. Uh, that's how we also try and keep in touch with everyone through that, through our Facebook account, and then through our prayer chain. If you want to be added to our prayer chain to make sure that you get all these updates when they do come, uh, just either call into the office, and call into the office too. If you don't have a better way to, to contact me, if you don't have my cell phone number, for example, call into the office and get that. I'm around, uh, we'll try to serve you the best we can. I'm hoping that this only lasts a couple weeks or so and that we can get back uh, at least by Holy Week. But if not, those Holy Week services also will be streamed Monday, Thursday, 7 p.m., Good Friday, 7 p.m. And then again, archived. Let people know. Also be reaching out and letting people know that you're available if they need some kind of help or assistance. Uh, all God's best. God be with you till we meet again. And just like the benediction, that's not a blessing, that's a promise.